Mo God is for real. Too many the cycle of jail. Spending their birthdays inside of a cell. We coming from a long blood like a summer. We raised by our mamas, Lord. We got it. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC's welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Riverside, California, USA, presenting the challenger, El Toro. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? Ready? So 
All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of beat for Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice kick. Moving to his left now. Oh! Wow! Oh, man! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. opening round here. I got to whip this hip into that kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. And he is back up to his feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Kick right under that right elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing it with body shots. Well, he's up, but he is hurt for certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, there's a takedown attempt, unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown, but now... Oh, just digs into the body. So he has shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet now. just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO! UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you became the double champ, you got it done. Not many people expected him to win. Those three guys that walked to the Afghan with him were sure that he would win this fight. All you need is your army. You're the warriors on the front line. And that group of warriors knew that they could get the job done. They did, and now he's the UFC champion.